Nitin Kakkar makes bold, makes a very simple, nice film called Ram Singh Charlie. The film is based on a 1978 Malayalam film made by the great Mas Piro Arvindam and tells about the dying of the circus industry. Whenever an industry dies, it's up to take its toll economically. Employment, people having to adjust with life, the meltdown, you can go back to Nayadar, change. But what is intriguing with Charlie, the character Ram Singh plays as the circus joker, is that the filmmaker largely excuse the path of talking, the cliched economic poverty, touches on it, but deals largely with the emotive vacuum in which a performing artist falls when he's suddenly wanting to perform and misses the accolades, the claps, the joker. Very uh, surprising that we've not had too much of Indian cinema on the circus with joker. We've had some, except of course Raj Kapoor's brilliant Mera Naam Joker. I won't even talk about Akshay Kumar's recent film. More than a joker, it was about a joke. So we leave that there. What makes this film interesting and absorbing is that it deals with the passions of a man who's unable to come to terms with the fact that he's no longer a joker. He misses the applause. He misses the environ of birth, so do his colleagues. His wife, Kajri, played by Divya Datta, and his little son, Chinto, go to the village because Kajri is expecting the second child. In the meanwhile, accidentally, Charlie becomes a rickshaw puller in Calcutta to make both ends meet. He also in this process goes back to meeting the original owner of the circus played by Salima Reza. It is Salima Reza's son, Nabil, played by Akarsh Kurana who decides to close down the circus. And a wonderful symbolic scene, how the circus closes down with all those lovely green colored tents falling down. No drama, nothing overstated. Very, very simply, it is conveyed that it is curtains at the circus. But then, to the protagonist, circus is not about money. It's not just not about applause. It's that passion in the belly. And therefore, he goes about the task of having to build an alternative circus. What impresses? is both in the destructive down element of the story and in the hope element of the story of wanting to build an alternative. The filmmaker ensures that it has the right emotive quotient, doesn't overstate, 
avoids the usual potholes and pitfalls and makes a statement which is not dry and dry, is emotive but not overstated. Everybody from the lady who owns the circus, Salima Reza, to the person as her son, Akarsh Khurana, to the violinist Surendra Rajan, to small cameos from Lilliput and KK Goswami as shot and cut, to the boy Chintu. Everybody plays their role well. There's another character, Shah Jahan, who comes in to invest in the new circus, plays by Farooq Seir, also worth mentioning. That leaves us with Divya Datta as the heroine and Kumud Mishra playing the central character. Divya Datta. Again, she is playing that go, go, go into the child, husband lost a job, like in Choked or in Loot Case. However, she gives it a completely different dimension. She plays her role with consummate ease. Kumut Mishra, amazing actor. I think he's done a great job. Somewhere I suspect that the preparation for the role could have been better because his body seems too very cozy and plumpy and nice. He hasn't lost any weight to show that he's a man in poverty, something that Amir Khan would have done. He doesn't bring in the same anguish that a Balrat Sahani brings in Dobi Ghazanin as the Rikshawala. But his performance is amazing. No doubts about his acting. If anything, I think he looks too well fed. And as a rickshaw puller, sometimes there's a more coquettish uh, body language than an apologetic body language to his. Maybe the director is trying to convey that he's still a very spirited person and the joker in him has not died. But uh, to be thinking that far in the course of a film, I think, uh, would be asking for too much. However, at the end, he makes the film, he is the central part of the film and he doesn't deceive, he delivers. Nice to see somebody like Kumud Mishra getting a nice chunk big role in a film. The other day you saw him in Tappad as a sensitive father who was doing so well and your heart goes out to some of these amazingly talented artists who are asked to come and do minuscule roles in Bollywood. In one of the scenes in the film, one of the characters asks, can you get out of your skin and still be happy? That exactly is what our mainstream cinema needs to do today. Not so much to be happy as to be worthy. We in the audience, must also sit back and tell ourselves that every time we sit and watch a good film, apart from contributing to the cause, we are enriching ourselves by a better experience. A part of us becomes a little more human when we watch good art. To better ourselves, I don't want to sound like a book telling you what you should do with life. But I believe good art has its positive effect on us. It is nice in the midst of all the hate and anger that we keep seeing day in and day out. We have a film like Ram Singh, Charlie, that looks at something different and is treated with serenity I must sign off by saying Nitin Kakar has done a nice job. I think Kumud Mishra's performance is very good. Welcome to the world of Ram Singh. You will not regret watching Ram Singh Charlie. Thank you.